Good afternoon, Fantasy Bay. This is Mike Williams, your host, and I'll be going over a game preview of the Chiefs versus the Jaguars. So that game happens tomorrow, or Sunday at 1 p.m. It's week one, by the way. Uh, the over-under started at 52. It is now down to 50.5. The spread opened at negative 5.5 for the Chiefs and moved down to negative 3.5 for the Chiefs. Uh, so let's start with the Chiefs. All right, we're going to start at quarterback. Well, Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes uh, is facing the Jaguars. They're third against the quarterback. Doesn't matter. You're playing him. If you have Patrick Mahomes, you probably drafted him in the first four rounds. If you got him any later than that, it's a bargain. Uh, so then we're going to go to wide receivers and you have Tyreek Hill. So the Jaguars are actually the second best against the wide receiver, but you're playing Tyreek Hill, even though Tyreek Hill is going to be shadowed by Jalen Ramsey. And last year when he was shadowed by Jalen Ramsey, he had four receptions and 61 yards. So there is a chance that Jalen Ramsey that Jalen Ramsey shuts him down, but you can't bet against Tyreek Hill. He's literally the fastest guy in the NFL. It's insane how quick he is. If Jalen Ramsey trips one time, he could take it to the house for, I don't know, 10 points in one play. And then if he gets an additional four catches for 60 yards, he has a very good game. So you're firing up Tyreek Hill. Uh, also, that new contract he got is nice and shiny. Three years, uh, $54 million. Money, 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 money. Money. Cash out. All right. Um, Sammy Watkins needs to stay on your bench, though, because just because Tyreek Hill should be played, even though the defense is amazing, does not mean Sammy Watkins, the Lizard King, needs to be playing uh, <laughs> in your lineup. All right, so running backs. The Jaguars are 12th against the running back, and we have a really murky running back situation in the um, Kansas City. So we have Damian Williams, LaShawn McCoy, the new addition, and Darwin Thompson. Now, before, I was thinking that Darwin Thompson was going to get a nice little workload, um, but now that LaShawn McCoy's there, and they're talking about a 50-50 possible split between Damian Williams and LaShawn McCoy, like a 1A, 1B, everybody knows that if you're in an Andy Reid offense, you're going to do amazing, especially their running backs. Their running backs are normally gold, but they normally he normally only uses one running back at a time, and that one running back is going to be amazing. For example, LaShawn McCoy, when he was with them, he was amazing. He was one running back. Or the Jamal Charles, amazing, one running back. But now he has two running backs, and apparently he's saying that he believes in Damian Williams. I don't know if Damian Williams is going to be able to hold on to this job, but I will tell you this. I definitely have some LaShawn, LaShawn McCoy uh, picks on my in my leagues, so I am excited to see what happens. I think Damian Williams still keeps that role, at least for a while, and even in a 50-50 sp split in an offense as good as the Chiefs, I'll take any kind of running back situation I can get. Uh, and then Travis Kelsey, you're firing him up no matter what. It uh, doesn't matter how good the Jags are. You're playing Travis Kelsey. He's the number one tight end in the league. All right, so now we're going to move over to the Jaguars. So the brand new quarterback, Nick, Nick Foles, is going to be playing at quarterback. The Chiefs are 30th against the quarterback, so he should have a decent game. Uh, the Chiefs corners are bad <laughs> or injured they have two they have very good matchup dj chark has a great matchup chris conley has a great matchup um uh, if you check out mike clay's uh wide receiver verse if you check out mike clay's wide receiver verse cornerback article uh it goes over some good and bad matchups and they have great matchups also side note dd westbrook I think he's going to be a great play in this. The over-under being at 50-plus, I think that 
D.D. Westbrook is going to be a nice little target for Nick Foles. In the preseason, Nick Foles was targeting D.D. Westbrook he's seven out of ten times. Like, I'm not expecting that in the games, but in a PPR league, that's he's going to eat, and it's going to be good. So then we're going to go down to running backs. The Chiefs are 20th against the running back, and Leonard Fournette is going to play. I think that while Leonard Fournette is healthy, I think he's going to be a great running back. But he's shown that he – can't stay on the field, whether it's for injury or for behavior, missing photos or fighting in the middle of a game. So I, I personally don't trust him, but it looks like he's going to play. So if he's playing, then play him. He's good. Very good. And that is going to be it for the weekly preview of the Chiefs versus the Jaguars. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, contact me back. Uh, on my YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, anything essentially. Uh, Fantasy Bay, I'm out.